okay so first first of all i'll tell uh, introduction and all and after that um before going to directly what is sap abap and why it is used in the industry we'll just see the background of what sap erp is and what is sap actually okay uh, sap stands for enterprise resource planning and when i say enterprise resource planning it is nothing but um, we have a company and we have a different different departments in our company right we have a finance department we have a production and planning we have a sales and distribution material management human resource controlling and also we have the e-commerce like that so in integrating all these different kind of departments and storing the data in the centralized manner we call it as a erp erp stands for enterprise resource planning and enterprise is nothing but organization when we say resources we have different different um, resources within our organization like money manpower we have a machinery materials marketing and when it comes to planning it is nothing but efficient utilization of our resources by integrating all the departments of the organization in simple this is a erp okay next uh, let's think uh, what resources we as a human being having we have a car we have a house we have a bicycle money money in a bank money in a wallet right these different different resources we have it and for example if groceries are over in our fridge we plan it for a week and so right and if we have a car then we plan it for our insurance before due date we plan it right our brain is working as a sap resource right if brain is working as a erp system here okay brain is our software which is managing our day-to-day -day activities this is one of the simple example now if we go to a real time example you just imagine that you have created one small business okay what is this business means you have one amazing garden and in that garden you have a different flowers and you started selling these flowers in just standing outside your garden and started selling this uh, flowers initially you don't have much sales so you are just using your paper and pen to note it down and what what you're noting you're just saying flower name and number of flower and what is the price and you're just giving it to your customer but after few days you have some demand for your flowers now you have a stall and uh, you have uh, created we are you are using now word file and excel file to note it everything correct then um, now you have more and more sales and you have some people who are not paying you on time the business in the business language we call it as actually account receivable okay you need to track this all and now you started using the excel and excel is also now becoming more complex so people are buying from you but not paying you on time and similar situation is going on everything you cannot remember uh, in your brain right now you are using different software like excel for your uh, accounting word for your uh, uh, invoices and all right after that after a few days uh, now you have your uh, uh, like you bought the chair you bought the stall you bought the uh, software and everything right so in that case you have a purchase invoice as well with you and uh, if you have a purchase invoice that means you have to classify uh, it to reduce your cost as well like you your in, income is increased and now you have to pay the taxes also correct going forward so in that case your account is increased and you started using the simple accounting program you might heard of tally or something like that okay so you have now tally software installed in your uh, soft in your uh, computer and you started accounting in that you can see all who all are paid on time who are not paid on time your monthly uh, taxes are calculated automatically your company is now growing okay now your company is growing so 
you thought that uh, okay now i'll what i'll do my garden floors are not enough to uh, fulfill my customer demand so i started supplying it from another supplier okay i started taking the flowers from another supplier and i'm storing that into one of my warehouses okay now you are buying it from another supplier and you are storing that in your warehouse in warehouse also you need some of the um, proper management right so for that you bought one more software called as a material management with the extended warehouse uh, planning okay now just remember okay initially you started with a word and excel now then you move to tally you have one tally software and one uh, material management with the extended warehouse now next your company is growing and you have now hired few people to work with you in that case what is required now again you require the human resource department if we have a people that means you have again people with the leaves if somebody goes on a leave then who will work on that day you need particular department to handle this all correct so for that reason we have a human resource department going forward now you have a people now you have a good customer base in that case you thought of that you're not no more will buy from uh, another supplier you will have your own production okay you will produce your flowers in your own uh, company so that you need again a production planning department where uh, you bought again a soil you have now a number of people working in this department if you have a production in house then you should uh, consider the quality of the product as well so now it comes to production planning department if you think carefully of this initially you had a tally you now bought the uh, material management software then you bought the hr software then you have the production planning software right so in this scenario these are all different different departments working independently correct working independently there is no communication between these departments now think of centralized software that has all the business activities in a one place that makes a super easy for all uh, company communication and sharing the information and this is called as a sap erp this is a short background of erp i hope erp is clear now okay let's go to next part okay before that let's check what are the key features as we discussed this is a centralized database for all the business processes we standardize the process across the different different departments there is a real time sharing of information and there is because of this we have a enhanced decision making capability next what is now sap sap stands for systems applications and products in data processing okay sap is first basic thing you need to understand is sap we should call it as a sap only not as a sap okay because why because sap refers to sap company which stands for sap se and sap also refers to sap erp software that is the reason we call it as a sap and in right side right side you can see uh, how sap is what in what percentage sap is popular okay if i have mentioned only few examples here but 70% of the biggest 500 companies of the world are using the sap software to run their uh, enterprise run their company okay now coming back to sap sap is not a programming language okay sap is not a programming language you might heard of c c++ java those are programming language but sap is not a programming language sap is one of the leading erp software this is just a uh, definition okay i'm just reading it out from here software which is globally providing integrated business application to help companies manage their operations effectively so this is a this is one of the erp we already understood what is ERP so SAP is one of the ERP which is 
centrally handling all your departments and sharing the real time information what are the key modules in the sap we have sap erp which is nothing but it is a uh, managing various business processes like finance hr procurement sales and then we have a crm which is customer relationship management then we have a scm supply chain management and srm we have many more like i have another slide for that sap modules are basically divided into three parts functional area we have a technical area and then we have an administrative area which is nothing but an admin module in the functional we have a finance and uh, controlling sales and distribution hr mm we already saw this and in technical we have a base or main module as a sap abap sap abap is one of the programming language for sap then we have a ui5 web 10 pro crm technical hana etc and in the basic basis uh, sorry in admin we have a basis ep admin xi admin etc like that now the main uh, part where we are main looking, mainly looking for is the SAP ABAP. SAP ABAP, ABAP stands for Advanced Business Application Programming Language. This is one of the programming language for SAP. What are the responsibilities now as a SAP developer has or what are the day-to-day -day activities SAP developer will be working on, right? They are mainly responsible for RICEF object. That is nothing but a RICEF objects. If we abbreviate this, R stands for reports, I stands for interface, then conversion, then enhancement, forms. There is something called as a W also, which is workflow. Uh, we will see it in details in the later part, but now we'll focus on these main important objects. So whenever we say, I'm working on any of the tasks in the SAP ABAP, I will be working on one of these objects. So we'll see every, now every object little bit brief about every object first is a reports reports in general what it means report in general means that it is a summary of information based on which we can do the analysis this is a general uh, form of report okay in sap how we are doing it in abap how we are doing it we have one of the abap program which is nothing but a report we are sending the request from our report program to our database from the database some information from different different tables we are collecting the information and we are getting the response back to sap above in in the in there in above we have something called as an internal table will not go in depth but what is internal table this is holding data in temporary format we are getting the response we are storing it in the internal table and we are uh, processing some information and then we are passing it to our display that is nothing but process data is displayed to our report format that is nothing but a summary of data we can see it and this is overall called it as a report uh, in sap abap actually we have two kinds of report that is classical and alv we'll see that in detail uh, in next sessions next is the interface interface means what name itself suggests that it is a kind of mediator okay we have uh, some we have like in in current example on the slide you can see we have one customer called as abc another customer we have a xyz customer and both these customers are using sap server but we have one more customer which is not using sap server they are into non sap server non sap means what they, that they can have java dot net anything okay now suppose all these three customers are partners when i say partners there is a sharing of information when i say sharing of information these all systems should be connected to each other so that the information sharing can be easily done now for the abc company they received one order if they receive them some order there is something called as a selection program okay you just now don't I'll, I'll not go in detail technical there is something called as a selection program which will take these order details and convert or store creates one 
idoc format idoc is nothing but an intermediate document which holds the records which the rec the records which we received it from the in case of in form of order okay this idoc will be passed to the xyz customer and this customer is also in a sap and in that server we have something called as a posting program this posting program will read the data from idoc and store it into the database as these two are sap server we are just using idoc as an intermediate format to share for sharing of information now we have one more customer who are not using sap they are into non sap in that scenario we have to share this data through one of the third party tool we have we can have any tool like based on the uh, feasibility we have edi we can have web method or also we have sap provided process integration tool so this idoc data will be shared to third party tool and this third party tool will convert the data into xml format which is a universally accepted uh, language so this will be transferred to non sap system this entire process we call it as a interface i hope this is clear next is a conversion conversion is nothing but uh, just take a very simple example you have one customer for example tata okay they are completely into the legacy application that is nothing but they are not using sap system they are storing their data into text file or an excel file now they want to move it to sap from non sap system in that scenario conversion will come in place this legacy application non sap data will be converted to sap format by using some programs by using some techniques in the sap which is called as a bdc or lsmw technique so this is called as a conversion now what what is what you might be thinking what is the difference between this interface and the conversion the main difference is interface is a continuous process we might be getting daily orders in a daily format and we are sending it to different different server, servers but conversion is a one time process the customer will convert all their non sap data to sap in one go this is a main difference between both of them what is the next object we have that is a enhancement enhancement in short sap has provided one standard screen okay in the standard screen we have three default fields for example just take an example of sales order field sales order page in the sales order page we have a sales document number we have a number of quantity and we have a price this is already provided by sap but now i have a tata customer they want it two more additional fields in the standard screen so in that case what we do we find out some place in the sap standard screen we modify the standard screen and we will add these additional requirement which is from tata to the standard screen this enhancing or this modification process we call it as a enhancement in short this is one of the important object and uh, uh this these these requirements are uh, like mostly we get it in a uh, real time working okay now last we have the forms forms are uh, nothing but in our uh, simple example in our own business we saw that we were using invoices in the word we they later we got one software uh, for the invoicing right similarly here every business contains some documents right so those documents should be printed in the proper format and these uh, format we call it as a form and these forms we develop in sap system uh, by using some tools like we have a scripts we have a smart form then we have a adobe forms so yeah that's it i think that's it now <laughs>